All right, so today is the weekly Q and A. So without so without further ado, let's begin today's today's session. And I got a pretty fair amount of questions this week, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, one of the one of my good friends, Orange Bull, says, "Are you going to get Resident Evil Seven? And the answer to that is maybe. Now, normally I like video games, but they can be pretty pricey, especially since the tariff rates on products made outside the United States is going to be up by 10%. So if I'm going to get it, I may either get it on PS4 digitally, or I may wait for it to go on sale again. I'm not the biggest Resident Evil fan in the world, but I don't hate it. I mean, I played Resident Evil 4, and I very much enjoyed it. Also try out Resident Evil 2 with the tank controls, yes. So yeah, overall, I am interested in getting it, I just may not get it right away. Alright, another one, another person asked, have you seen Hamilton? And the answer to that is no, because I am not a gazillionaire. I really do want to go see it badly, since I am a man who has been in theater production. But yeah, and I also love rap, but... Yeah, maybe once it goes either off Broadway or like, you know, wait like a year and a half, then I'll go see it, possibly. Even when, uh, you know, Broadway tickets are like, you know, at like 10 years running, they still are kind of pricey. But yeah, I'll consider seeing Hamilton. Do you really think Rel Wright's project is great? I uh, never really heard much of his stuff. Like, you know, the, people keep asking me to listen to this or listen to that. But, you know, honestly, I got to really be in the mood in order to listen to something. But yeah, but anyhow, the, but the question of the week that I was asked this week was not on my Facebook profile, but rather someone in, all, in my hallway at my school, like, you know, asked me this question. So, you know, so normally I ask people to put it on the Facebook page, but, you know, since this person's a really nice guy and it was a really intriguing question, I'm going to answer it for him. So the question was, you know, what do you, how do you think the movie industry should get audiences more intrigued with their films? And or get more interested to be specific. And the answer to that question is, first of all, I think you know maybe like people love visuals, like great visuals. So I think you know instead of putting all your money in, like the high tech special effects, because let's face it, special effects have gone to their max point. Like they, it's become so photorealistic and so detail oriented that you know people are starting to get kind of sick of it. I mean, it's still, still movies make a lot of money. But I mean, honestly, I think you should focus more on great cinematography and excellent writing, especially realistic writing. Like, for example, I went to go see Moonlight again tonight with a good friend of mine, and I very much enjoyed it because of the deep character development and, uh, and very much the writing. I think people really want great writing. They just don't know it, I don't think. Maybe they do, they just don't want to, like, you know, really say it. Or the industry, at least, doesn't think people want to see it. They want to see big explosions. But in reality, it's not 1997 anymore. Those kind of things aren't new. They're not really exciting. So, yeah, I think the way to get audiences intrigued, just bring them something they've never seen before, but don't put that much effort into the effects. Like, make it look great, but that, but also really focus on great characters. Because if your movie has no great characters and not a mediocre storyline, people are going to forget about it like that. So yeah, this is this week's Q&A. Drop some questions for next week down below if you would like to. Tell again, this is Ian Ward signing off. Thankful to be alive and see people tomorrow. Bye.